All right, welcome back to the channel on the uh, Railway Garden vlog. We just left the hobby store and we have a bunch more track. So we're about to change it up again. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, let you guys see my idea. Okay, here we go, the idea. So originally I thought about coming out through here and going around my gas tank. Um, I opted to do that. I decided not to do that because when I come to fill it, I don't want it to be in the way for the guy who's filling it, the girl who's filling it, whoever's filling it. So instead, we're going to take this line out, I think. That's right. We're going to put a 40 degree curve, or sorry, the uh, 048 curve right here. Bring it around bring it right around through here big curve of the old fence line straight around and back and then I think that'll be the end because my wife's going to kill me even though she loves it at least I hope so well, I think she does so that's the plan. Um, what we'll have to do, let's see here. We won't need any Ys or nothing. We will wind up taking that one Y out. Um, we might have to, if we need more extra track, we'll use some of that, but I plan on leaving that in, in the interior as the yard, um, especially like this loop through here. It's good to park cars and trains on. So I know we do a lot of, uh, seems like we've been doing a lot of changing here lately and um, kind of switching up, but I really don't just want like a big square. I would like a little bit of difference. So yeah, guys, that's the plan. So I'm gonna start laying this out. I'm gonna start no oxing some track. Um, you know, that's the treatment that I use for the uh, anti-rusting. And uh, yeah, there's nothing more to do than to start ripping up railroad. Now, I know I'm gonna have all this extra gravel laying here. so. I might actually shovel this gravel up and use that to start around, but I need to make sure I've got enough track to do what I want to do without having to buy any more track. So I want to set it up to where I won't have to buy any track. So let's do it. So <laughs> with the wife's approval, we've grown the layout, but she said absolutely no more track. So the only other track we'll be able to do would be interior wise here look at this let's just walk this off we possibly could have the world's largest lionel what's the word i'm looking for fast track outdoor layout that's a possibility because i don't know anyone who else who, who uses this track one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We got 30 foot in length at our furthest point. That is unreal. Holy crap. So now the hard part. I've got to go to my buddies and get stone. i got to go get rock and... I might shovel and clean some of this up, but uh, I doubt that I'll use a lot of this rock. I'm just going to go get a couple of five-gallon buckets full and start leveling this thing and lay it out right. Holy moly. This is nuts. This is huge. We even got a wire out here just in case we want to do something out here. So um, I want to leave my grass on this interior, and I'm just going to put just enough ballast that I need to make this thing go. Um, I pr probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and power test everything, but I mean, it should be just fine. This is crazy. This thing is huge. We're about to really haul some humongous trains through here. Okay, so and now I need to go get rock and I'll update you guys. Maybe when I'm over there getting rock. Oh my God, this is crazy. All right, I lied. I went ahead and robbed some of this rock and then smoothed it out. And we put some through here. 
Um, it's, I think I'm only going to need about two, possibly three, five gallon bucketfuls. This part's not going to take much at all. It's just going to be really needing a dusting just to kind of support the track a little bit under the grass. Um, other than that, we'll be ready to run some trains. And um, guys, if you watch these videos, this just want all of you guys to know that I really appreciate it. Our watch time hours are coming up. Before long, this track, this track, this channel will be monetized and we'll be able to buy some really nice trains, um, get some really nice cars. Um, so the ultimate goal though, realistically, is to have a Y come off here, go into the building and then have a yard in there, inside the building. Well, we can just drive our trains into the building. We're gonna do that once the channel becomes monetized. When this channel becomes monetized, we're gonna build a bridge out right here with a single track that goes into the building. We can drive all our trains in there. We'll have us a yard inside. That will be crazy cool. Now look at this. So far, I'm so stoked. This is turning out better than I could have ever imagined. Um, and the Lionel Fast Track is working. It's holding up great. Um, this project's been going on a while now and um, we don't have any rust out, so we don't have any, uh, we haven't had any problems. So using the no ox, of course. And um, I'm gonna go get some rock. Unfortunately, I gotta go shovel a bunch of rock and then haul it. So gotta haul it about a mile and a half in the car. <sighs> We're gonna steady run some trains and try to settle some of this gravel so we can really get it built back up. I might get enough gravel to go ahead and fill this too, which that was the plan anyways. I just kind of run out of time the other day. So, all right, rock time. This is how I'm hauling it, by the way, in five gallon buckets and this bucket in the back of my car from my buddies to the house. Look at this line, it's huge. We're definitely not gonna go any bigger than this though. This is pretty big, other than maybe our branch line to the building. Yeah, boom. You can see all the gravel I've spilled. All right, let's I'm get not going to lie to you guys. I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> got over there and got some gravel, though. Boom, got a bucket. Got another bucket. Two buckets should do the rest of this, being that I don't really have to build up no grade. Um, and it's natural light time, so I want to lay some track right quick. Then we're going to run a train or two. I'm stoked. All right, so one bucket of gravel got us from right about there to here. Now the rest is just what I call like light fill. Not much. Um, oh, I got a little joint right here we're going to put back together. That's okay. Oh, we're gonna be able to run this bad boy here in a minute. God, this line is huge. So before we fire up this train, which she's on the line, the Kansas City Southern is ready to go. What I do after I put the gravel down, because the the only thing that I have found thus far outside that fouls the tracks up really bad is this dust off the gravel. And um, what I do is I take some rubbing alcohol. And um, at this point, I just rub the whole tracks down where I've been working. So I'm going to run around, get all the gravel dust off the track. We're going to run some trains on it for a little while, set the gravel in. Then after that, I will coat it with the no ox, you know, the grease. So I'll, uh, I'll put some like on the track here and I'll just run the piss out of the train until it cleans all, not till it cleans, but till it distributes all the no ox on the track. And uh, I'm really proud of myself because this is one of the first oh, times this is one of the first times that i've laid some rails out out here and not had to like overnight or you know amazon next day a piece of track or something like that because i didn't get enough oh well, i done the math measured it out and this came out perfect and this is 048 um curves so we'll be able to run i think any size Lionel train. I don't think you could run the big boy on it. I'll have to do some research and see if you can. But 
the track is clean. See all that mess we pulled off there? A lot of that's just like factory mess. So I'm gonna fire up this Kansas City and hope for the best. Uh, it's, I'm kind of nervous. That train has no grip. I've done something to the wheels on it, or the tires, the rubber tires. I'm about to switch out engines. Yeah, it has no grip. It's just spinning. I don't know if that train needs some weight or what. But look, only this engine spins the wheels like this. None of my other engines do. It has zero tractive effort. Like it just spins. So I've got some weights that I'm thinking about putting in this thing. I might have to do it. This is my only engine that does this. Damn it. Look at this. I just put brand new, brand new rubbers on there. Maybe it's just not heavy enough. I don't know. Let's go grab another engine. Dang I honestly it. think my best pulling engine and really is this one. This one is probably about equal. I love this train engine. Um, I love it. Well, we'll get this on the line, make a couple laps. I'll be All back right, with guys, you. Guys, look at this. Oh, this train just pulls. So if you guys have any ideas on what it could be with that Kansas City Southern engine, it just shatters the wheels. Like, I don't know, something's not right. I'm not sure what the problem is, but it does not like to pull. Look at there. It's amazing. This line is friggin' huge. Oh, well guys, I'm gonna let this thing run a little while work out any of the bad spots probably going to get some more gravel this weekend or next after the train runs and settles everything you can already see we got some pumping right here boom pump so that tells me that the ballast underneath it's settled but that's okay i might crank this thing wide open since we have a big track now go ahead and give it all the beans nice and I'm not gonna put very much of the no-ox grease on it. I'm just gonna put just enough to get uh, get them other rails up to their coated. Anything more than that is just a waste. So there we go. Oh, look there, we got some saddle already happening. We got a, a little whoop to whoop but that's okay. I'm gonna go hook up a big train and really pull this thing around. So you guys have a good day and um, if y'all like this video, share it, like it, subscribe. Look at there. Y'all be good.